we're going to take a look at the initial starting position for Zhang standing pole or standing like a tree. And this position is, comes in a variety of different ways of doing it, but the one I actually prefer to use is when you just feet shoulder width apart approximately, could be a little bit wider, but not much, and the body is just upright. It's an alignment position. Now, the Wuji position is important for a lot of reasons when you're doing Zhang Zhuang, because when you do it, what you need is you need the spine to undo in the body. So when we do standing qigong, we're looking for the three bows in the body, as they're sometimes referred to. And the first of those is the spine. So we need the body, the spine, to undo, and we need to allow it to lengthen, not stretch. It's very different. So if you stand with your feet a shoulder width apart, thereabouts, and you just let your arms hang on either side of you, the first thing that happens is you really need to make sure your shoulders are aligned with your hips. So there's a way to do that. So if you actually try lifting your shoulders up towards your ears, pulling them backwards, too much doesn't matter, you can pull back as much as you like, and now when you lower the arms or lower the shoulders very slowly, you need the outside edge of your shoulder to align with the outside edge of your hip bone here, on the, as though it's sliding into a groove down the side. So we can do this a few times, you don't have to just do it once, you can lift, pull back, and now just very, very gently feel as though those outside edges of the shoulders are aligning with the outside edges of the hips. So this puts your shoulders and your hips in the correct position. And I will do a separate video about this tiny little bit of the exercise because it's fairly crucial and it may create feelings up here in your chest. It depends on how you normally hold your shoulders. So that will, we will cover as another point. So having got the shoulders and the hips aligned, you now need to allow the neck to relax. So the expression in, often used in Tai Chi and Qigong is that you feel as though you're suspended from a silk thread from the crown of the head. Well, that's a very, very difficult thing to do because gravity is pushing us into the floor and yet at the same time we need to feel as though we're suspended. But what this really means is that you have to allow the whole body to undo from the neck downwards or from the crown downwards. But the crown it isn't really going to relax, is it? But the neck can undo. So it's as though you are suspended, say, by the back of the neck here, being held up. And just say your feet are very, very close to the ground. They're almost touching the ground, but you're just floating very slightly. What would it feel like in your pelvis and your neck and your spine if that were possible? As though you've been held up. Held up from here, maybe. From the mastoid processes or possibly from the crown or maybe from the apexes of the two ears even. If you were suspended there and everything else were just hanging down underneath, your whole spine would undo lengthen, you'd feel the weight of your legs and your pelvis gently pulling down and it would feel as though first of all the neck would undo perhaps and then you'd feel the lumbers undoing here in the lower back and even the pelvis would feel like it's falling off. So this is the first thing you need to do for the Wuji position. You need to allow the crown of the head to be lengthened. I'm not saying stretched upwards because as soon as you try and stretch your head upwards you start pulling your neck muscles backwards and you create tension. So it is not a doing, if anything it's totally an undoing. So crown of the head is just being suspended your feet are almost touching the floor, so just let go of everything in the body. Your shoulders are aligned with your hips. If they're not, just lift them, pull them back, and then realign them. Get the weight in the middle of your foot, and in between the two feet as well. And that is the basic Wuji position. 
Now, when we do this, what we're actually doing is preparing the whole bow of the spine. We're allowing the neck to undo, we're allowing the pelvis to settle, and what happens is, when your neck undoes, is it actually lengthens slightly, it lifts, because any muscle that undoes gets longer. Muscles are designed for the ends to pull together, they shorten, they contract. So for example, if I want to bend my arm, I have a muscle from the shoulder, on this side of the shoulder, on the chest side, going to beyond to the um, to, onto the top of the forearm there. So by doing this, what I'm doing is I'm contracting those biceps muscles which make the arm bend. So that is what we're trying to do. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to go to here. I mean, you could think of it bridging the gap here if you like. If we go to here, we're also starting to elevate the upper arm as well, but we're contracting that as well. So it, it's all part of the same plan. But in order to do this, to contract the muscles, you are contracting the muscles. If I want the muscles to lengthen, I can't force them to undo. I have to allow them to undo. And perhaps you think, yeah, you can make them undo. You do that, you push it out again. But actually to do that, what you've done is you've tensed muscles at the back in order to make those muscles across the elbow, for example, straight, uh, shorten the muscles at the back so the arm pulls open and you automatically let go of the front muscles in order for them to lengthen. However, what we're doing here is we're not trying to pull any other muscles forward to make the lengthening happen. We're purely trying to undo the neck muscles here. So, lift your shoulders, pull back, lower into the groove on the side, and soften your neck. You are now suspended. Think about the crown of your head for a second. Your feet are just floating just off the ground. Now then, if the neck has lengthened, what we also want to happen is we want the pelvis in the lumbers to feel like it's settling, so the neck feels like it's lengthening, and the pelvis feels like it's settling, and we don't need to worry about the bit in the middle, because that will take care of itself. If you can allow the ends to do their stuff, the middle will do its stuff all alone all by itself. And that is the bow of the spine. We've allowed it to undo. We can then flex this and turn it into more of a, a different type of bow if we want, but this is the preparation for the, for the flexion of the spine, which is bow number one.